In this lecture, we will discuss these points of clinifilter syndrome. History. Why it is related to male hypogonadism. Its genetic cause. What are levels at which non-disjunction can cause this syndrome? Its frequency. Signs and symptoms. And treatment of clinifilter syndrome. Let's jump into it. History it is named after American endocrinologist Harry Klinefilter, who identified the condition in the 1940s. In 1956, the extra X chromosome was identified as the cause. Klinefilter syndrome is the most common cause of hypogonadism. In males, it develops when there are at least two X chromosomes and one or more Y chromosomes. Mice can also have the Xixi syndrome, making them a useful research model. An extra X chromosome in only some cells, called mosaic clinifilter, in which you don't have as many symptoms. And it is less severe. If there are more than one extra X chromosome, which is very rare and more severe. Most affected patients have 47 XXY karyotype. Approximately, 15% of patients show mosaic pattern including 46, XY over 47, XXY over 47, XXY over 48, XXXY. This type of karyotype results from non-disjunction of sex chromosome during meiosis. This extra X chromosome may be of maternal or paternal origin. Different non-disjunction events can be like birth of a cell with karyotype XXY due to a non-disjunction event of one X chromosome from a Y chromosome during meiosis 1 in a male. Second event like birth of a cell with karyotype XXY due to a non-disjunction event of one X chromosome during meiosis 2 in the female. The relevant non-disjunction in meiosis 1 occurs when homologous chromosomes fail to separate producing a sperm with an X and a Y chromosome or an egg with two X chromosomes. Fertilizing a normal X egg with this sperm produces an XXY offspring, which is clinifilter condition. Fertilizing a double X egg with a normal sperm also produces an XXY offspring, which is also clinifilter condition. Another mechanism for retaining the extra chromosome is through a non-disjunction event during meiosis 2 in the egg. Non-disjunction occurs when sister chromatids on the sex chromosome, in this case an X and an X, fail to separate. And 20 egg is produced, which when fertilized with a Y sperm, yields an XXY offspring. This XXY chromosome arrangement is one of the most common genetic variations from the zykaryotype occurring in about 1 in 500 live male births. Frequency and Variations 48, XXY or 48, XXXY occurs in 1 in 18,000 to 50,000 male births. The incidence of 49, XI is 1 in 85,000 to 100,000 male births. These variations are extremely rare. Additional chromosomal material can contribute to cardiac, neurological, orthopedic, and other anomalies. Approximately 15 to 20 percent of males with KS may have a mosaic 47, XXY over 46, XY constitutional karyotype. Another possible mosaicism is 47, XXY over 46, XX with clinical features suggestive of KS and male phenotype, but this is very rare. Thus far, only about 10 cases of it have been described in literature. Signs and symptoms of clinifilter syndrome vary widely. Many boys with clinifilter syndrome show few or only mild signs. The condition may go undiagnosed until adulthood or it may never be diagnosed. For others, the condition has a noticeable effect on growth or appearance. Signs and symptoms of clinifilter syndrome also vary by age. In babies, signs and symptoms may include weak muscles, slow motor development, taking longer than average to sit up, crawl and walk, delay in speaking, problems at birth, such as testicles that haven't descended into the scrotum, and hernia. 
in boys and teenagers, larger breasts than normal, less facial and body hair, and it comes in later, less muscle tone, and muscles grow slower than usual, longer arms and legs, wider hips, and a shorter torso than other boys their age, puberty never comes, comes later, or doesn't quite finish, small penis and small, firm testicles. In men, infertility, can't have children because they can't make enough sperm, low sex drive, low testosterone levels, problems getting or keeping an erection, enlarged breast tissue, and increased belly fat. Treatment of Clinifilter Syndrome It's never too late to treat Clinifilter, but the earlier you start, the better. One common treatment is testosterone replacement therapy. It can start at puberty and can spur typical body changes, such as facial hair and a deeper voice. It can also help with penis size and stronger muscles and bones, but it won't affect testicle size or fertility. Other treatments include, counseling and support for mental health issues, fertility treatment, in some cases, using your own sperm to father a child, occupational therapy and physical therapy to help with coordination and build muscles, plastic surgery to reduce breast size, speech therapy for children, supporting school to help with social skills and learning delays. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay tuned. Hope to see you next time.